everybody all of us want to be happy and healthy our happiness and healthiness depends on the balance between the material needs and non-material needs of our life material needs means that we can see and count like a, a ecological house little bit of income some basic facilities those things and non-material needs means society nature our psychological satisfaction those things and permaculture is an art philosophy of the things that helps us to design our livelihood system in such a way that we have a balance between both of the things, the material things and non-material things. And a good way to learn permaculture is to practice by ourselves and to practice even if you need some knowledge base for that. The good way to have a knowledge base of permaculture is to do the permaculture design course. Permaculture design course in Hasera is a 16 day long residential course which is very practical very informative and very eye-opening course however there are many other places in the world where good teachers they organize permaculture design course and some teachers they do it 14 days some people do different other days but normally we do it 16 days in this 16 days we basically learn about the uh, concept of permaculture definition history concept of permaculture and then the major thing in permaculture we have to learn is ethics of permaculture the core ethics of permaculture includes care of people, how to do good things for the people, society, family, whole world population, and then care of art. Care of art means how to care the, do good things for the nature, mother earth, this ecological stuff, uh, green stuff, we learn on this. And the, another major ethics of permaculture is uh, fair share or in another way you can also, also call this set limit and consumption so these three are the major ethics of permaculture besides that there are many practical principles of permaculture so we learn about these ethics and principles of permaculture and all those things would include in detail about how to design an ecological homestead ecological house how to design an ecological garden how to make good seed, how to develop a good variety from our existing local varieties, how to make nursery, how to improve our soil, how to make compost, how to identify the insects, organisms in our field and to know which organisms are good for our garden, which are bad to what extent, because in one way there is no bad things in the nature, it's only management is a issue. So we would learn how to manage these different organisms so our farm in total is a ecologically balanced and sustainable farm or on top of that more regenerative farm. So we would learn all this theoretical and practical base and at the end we would learn how to integrate all the system into the holistic design. So we would learn how to make a holistic design of the farm so that our farm is very productive, healthy and sustainable. So welcome in Hasera to learn about permaculture or wherever is possible, feasible for you, learn permaculture and enjoy the green, happy and healthy way of our life. Thank you very much.